The latest news break that we're getting in, the Ministry of uh, Electronic and Information Technology is continuously in touch with Microsoft, which in turn is actively working with impacted entities. The latest in addition, the CERT in its coordination with Cisco of critical infrastructure entities, all impacted entitled entities are working up uh, to bring up their systems. In many cases, systems are partially up, is what we've been given to understand. This, of course, uh, the worldwide outage due to Microsoft. And right now, India's in touch with Microsoft to try and troubleshoot uh, many flights across the country, not just across the country, viewers, across the world. Our airports are on a standstill where check-ins have become difficult as Microsoft systems have crashed and manual check-ins are actually taking place. Uh, the latest we've been given to understand uh, that the Ministry of Electronic and Information Technology is in touch with Microsoft to troubleshoot a solution. Aishwarya joining us live. Aishwarya, uh, we have been given to believe that Ashwini Vaishnav now in touch with Microsoft personally to try and find a solution which has practically brought the entire world, at least where the airports are concerned, to a standstill. It's been over seven hours now. Well, Pete, you know, not just a standstill. It actually feels like, you know, this is a play which is running in front of our eyes, you know, but it seems like a part of some kind of a sci-fi movie, but this is exactly what took place today. It's not just the airports, but banking systems across the globe. Many healthcare providers also have now come to the forefront and said that they were also facing some kind of issues. Our IT minister, Ashwini Western, has been in touch with Microsoft since Today morning, and not just that, he's also now saying that internally, the SERT is, uh, CERT CERT so so is now making sure that they speak with everyone who's been affected. And in the next couple of hours, the government believes, Preeti, in the next 24 hours, things will be sorted, at least as far as India is concerned. You know, Ashwara, if you can just get us up to speed with the fact right now, especially where airports across the country are concerned, there is a backlog. Uh, 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 you know, are things, because now they've moved, switched to the manual uh, method very very slow what's the backlog looking like well let me tell you you know uh, just at about an hour ago things were the, the chaos actually settled down down pretty and things were slowly slowly getting back on track because we did see the serpentine queues that we could see by about one o'clock or two o'clock the rush has reduced and also because we have now shifted gears we are not uh, using the tech we are now doing everything manually at the airport from the start to the beginning it's the people who are now at the forefront so with regards to that there is a small delay but flights have not been cancelled in the united states meeting close to 500 flights were cancelled in india that number stands to roughly 200 so it's very less across the across states but yes at the moment from what we are understanding the serpentine queues have vanished mm -hmm. and all the boards are now displaying proper information so those are those are the things that have been now shifted back and then in the next 24 hours the government trying to make sure that things run smoothly across all the sectors all right but still still uh, things still not up uh, but partially up is what we've been given to understand thank you Aishwarya for joining us but let's give our viewers a larger understanding on what really happened a massive microsoft outage has thrown millions of users worldwide into deep chaos disrupting critical applications and services the outage believed to be linked uh, to a cyber security failure with crowdstrike falcon has had a domino effect of such uh, impacting major airlines, financial institutions, medical facilities, and even emergency services. The outage has underscored vulnerabilities in the global digital infrastructure. A massive Microsoft outage unleashed havoc on computer systems across the world, leaving millions of users worldwide unable to access critical applications. The outage is possibly due to the failure of CrowdStrike Falcon, a cybersecurity platform that provides security solutions for Microsoft Windows. The outage impacted major airlines like American Airlines, Delta, SpiceJet, Indigo, Vistara, Air India, among others. Several flights were delayed in India, with Delhi, Bengaluru, Kolkata, Pune and Mumbai airports facing the maximum brunt. The outage hit booking and check-in services of several airlines in India, forcing them to follow manual check-in and boarding processes at the airports. Airlines also requested passengers to reach the airport early. It was all chose. They don't have any answers. A single person is taking more than 
I think 30 to 40 minutes. How can they cover up with it? And I was one of them who was just in front of the queue when the server goes down. Uh, flight was a lot delayed. The server was telling the server. और काफी लंबी लाइनें लगी हुई थी और आज ये हाथों से बनाया हुआ है बोर्डिंग पास है हाथों से बनाया हुआ बोर्डिंग पास है बहुत प्रॉब्लम है और नाम भी गलत लिखते हुए से ऊपर आके और समस्या हो रही है बहुत प्रॉब्लम है नो वन एक्सपेक्टेड दिस वी वर ऑल डिपेंडेंट ऑन दी सिस्टम्स व्हिच इज एमिडियस गलेलियो ऑल दी सिस्टम्स व्हिच आर डिपेंडेंट ऑन माइक्रोसॉफ्ट एंड अदर इंटरनेट बुकिंग एंजिन्स नाउ but before all these systems came, we used to have a very good manual system. I think uh, passenger manifest uh, is prepared and based on the passenger manifest, airlines can issue boarding cards manually. Uh, it will take a little more time and uh, flights can go on. There might be certain delays. The worldwide IT outage crippled banks, stock exchanges, payment systems and emergency services. Several media organizations were clueless when they were unable to broadcast news. Britain's Sky News, news agency Associated Press, Australia's ABC News faced systems failure. Meanwhile, Union IT Minister Ashwini Vaishnav in a statement said the government is in touch with Microsoft and its associates. The minister said the reason for this outage had been identified and updates have been released to resolve the issue. The government has clarified that the National Informatics Centre network is not affected by the outage. Airways के संबंधित जो प्रपंच व्याप्त होंगा Microsoft ताल का software ओकड़ी Azure अन्ना software cloud software दांत लो चिन्ना समस्या हो चुकी दाने वाला प्रधान अंगा अमेरिका लो नेटवर्टी फ्लाइट्स के कुछ समस्या हो चुकी का ये देना उन्ना सरे इमीडिएट का दाने में रिएक्ट है प्रयास के लिए अकड़ा एक बंदला कुन्ना इसलिए तीस पुटा मन ले � while IT engineers across the world rallied to minimize damage, cybersecurity experts warn that such outages can have far-reaching effects, especially if they last for an extended period. I'm here at Heathrow Airport and I've been speaking to people. Uh, they have said that uh, the, some of them who have their flight cancelled still remain to be so, but others are telling me from the airline staff that slowly uh, it's been fixed and they're getting things in hand. So it's not a blanket situation where the flights have been cancelled. It's different for different people and therefore the confusion and the cures and people have to therefore make their individual inquiries to find out where they stand with the airline. I mean, I'm hunting for India today from Heathrow Airport, London. All right, uh, you know, I want to connect uh, right now to Cyrus John, our editor of Emerging Tech, India Today .in, to actually get a larger understanding of what really happened and what can we expect, uh, especially in the future, because Cyrus, what happened this morning was nothing short of a scene, uh, you know, from a film of sorts where practically the entire world came to a standstill. That's right, Preeti. We have seen so many references like these in Hollywood movies, right? When uh, a bunch of hackers uh, kind of take control of the entire ecosystem and shut it down. However, the, the good thing is, what, what was a relief is that uh, the CEO of uh, CrowdStrike has confirmed that this is not a cyber attack. It is basically a flaw in code that has not gone well with the entire Microsoft uh, ecosystem. So basically what happened, these, uh, these are cybersecurity, for the CrowdStrike is a cybersecurity firm, and they need to coordinate with Microsoft in terms of data security. And uh, they have to release live patches because this is real-time data that is being transferred. So in that process, somehow, the patch that was released by CrowdStrike wasn't compatible with the Azure or the Microsoft ecosystem, and which is exactly why this entire ecosystem of Microsoft came down. And uh, while uh, the company has said, CrowdStrike has said that they have released fixes, we cannot expect this fix to immediately fix the problem because it is just like your Windows update. You get an update, it fixes the problem within the system gradually. So this is a gradual fix that the company has released. It will be released in phases and uh, we can expect like a couple of hours or maybe even days for the entire ecosystem of Microsoft to come back to life as it was uh, operating earlier. But again, this exposes the vulnerability of being, uh, uh, being exposed to just one ecosystem, one server, because if Microsoft goes down, we saw how it affected uh, many services. 
So for example, if you're working on Google's uh, cloud services or Amazon's cloud services, it could happen again. So we need to identify this problem. We need to really find contingencies and uh, put them in place so that this never happens again. But uh, yes, it's a relief that the company CrowdStrike has confirmed uh, that uh, it was an issue with the bug. Uh, it was a bug that would uh, cause uh, the disruption and a fix has been released. So we can expect operations to resume uh, within hours or, uh, or a couple of days. The, the problem is, there is no transparency right now from Microsoft's side or CrowdStrike's side because if they make people understand or the stakeholders understand that this was the issue, maybe a fix could be done within uh, the companies, within the stakeholders, but right now there is no transparency. So there's a lot of ambiguity around what the problem was, but again, some communication coming in from both companies that they've released a fix and the solution will be, I mean, this entire issue will be sorted very soon. All right, appreciate you joining us. We're going to come back to you for more updates. Uh, thank you there. <clears throat> Cyrus, with that, uh, let's uh, quickly dip into the latest political news uh, that's breaking right now.